Hello my lovely Virgos, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. Let's get straight into your reading. This is a love message reading for all Virgos, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So Angel Spirit guys, what's the love message for Virgos this week please? What's the love message for Virgo this week please? Okay, thank you. Oh, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So you could be heading towards a separation or you could be in the separation right now. Um, you need some time apart from your partner to think things through. Uh, is this a journey that you want to continue down? Is um, is this something you want to, uh, continue, to continue with? Um, is there any changes that need to be made? And your person needs to have the same um, time on their own as well to think it through also. So this, if you're not in a separation right now, this doesn't mean that it's going to happen. I feel that it's also a warning sign to say if you don't talk to your partner, then and try and air out or any differences you may have, then separation could be something that is coming towards you. On the bottom of the deck, what do we have? We have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So it could be to do with financial um, issues that are um, causing this separation or causing arguments. Uh, you could be with a person trying to build a, buy, a, buy a home. Uh, maybe one of you wants to go traveling, one of you doesn't. Uh, maybe one of you wants to stay in a uh, change your career, but it will mean taking a cut in pay. Whatever it is for you. And obviously in today's world you know things are just rising and rising so i feel that there's a lot of arguments to do with um finances right now and careers possibly which could be leading to a separation i feel that some time apart could help but also just having a good heart-to-heart -heart conversation uh, in a nice calm environment and working out your finances and trying to find a middle ground would help right now for for you this might not resonate with you, but if it does, then please take that. Let's get into tarot for you. So Angel Spirit Guides, what's the love message for Virgo, please? Love message for Virgo, please. Okay, thank you. Right, we have the Empress. Okay. The Four of Swords. And the Two of Swords. Yes, okay. So I do feel here with the Empress um, that some of you are stepping into your uh, feminine energy. So this could be male or female. We all have masculine feminine energy. This is more a creative, uh, mothering, caring, nurturing card. So I feel that you're standing in your own power, that you want to create something with your life. You want to do something with your life, but you might not be, be um, supported by your person. You might not be, you might be disencouraged rather than encouraged by your person. You are kind of standing up for yourself a little bit. You're standing um, on your own two feet and you're, you're going for the things that you want to go for, but it is causing friction in your relationship right now. Now we do have the four of swords and we also have the two of swords here. So there's a lot of air energy. So it could be Libra, Aquarius or Gemini that you're dealing with. Um, so with the four of swords, this is a chance to... Spend some time contemplating which direction you want to go in. I feel for some of you as well, it's it's direction of what it's it's deciding which direction you want to go, as well as deciding a direction the relationship's gonna go. So I feel because you've got the Empress here as well, it's like you want to do something a bit more independent, you want to do something a little bit more for you, you're fed up of going to the daily grind, maybe. And you just want to do something else. But by doing that, you're going to be putting a lot of strain and pressure onto the relationship. And I feel that the Four of Swords here is asking you and your person to take some time out and contemplate where you both want to go individually and whether that matches up um, together. Because as we get older we grow we evolve we have different interests we want our lives to go in a different way the life i wanted my life my the way i wanted my life to go when i was 20 is a lot different nearly 20 years later a lot, a lot different things happen life happened tragedy happened children came along you know things 
things are different so therefore we're not in the same place we may have been when we were when we first started dating our person so i feel that you need to contemplate where it is that you want to go and then how that can help the relationship move forward um and then you've got the two of swords as well so there is some big decisions that need to be made um you need to take the blindfold off and make the decision or i also feel that could be the energy of your partner um it's about seeing the reality rather than make a decision in dream world you need to make a decision in reality so as you can see there she's got her blindfold on with the sword crossed over her chest like she's protecting herself you know, if i just if i don't, don't worry about it if i don't think about it if i don't talk about it it will go away it's not going to go away it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger until it just explodes so this is a chance for you you know what you want out of life contemplate where you want to be and where you want the relationship to be and then you need to take the blindfold off and face reality and make decisions that's going to be best for you so let's clarify the cards on the table okay thank you so under the empress we do have the lovers card we have the ten of swords and we have the king of cups and on the bottom of the deck we have the four of cups you're in i feel that you're in this place like here's your three of cups here this is where you are you're just doing the daily thing normal daily life getting up it's like groundhog day you know, we get up, we sort the kids out, we get them to school, we come home, we work, or we go to work, or whatever it is that if you work from home or work in a, in a office or whatever it is that you do. But really, you're just daydreaming about something else. Your daydream, this is your daydreaming, you're daydreaming what it is you really want out of life. You're just focusing on this four of cups rather than this, and it's getting to the point where this is getting bigger and bigger that you, you're you going to explode, you need to do something more, but your partner isn't supporting you in it so under the empress we do have the lovers card so you are getting creative with your life and and you are very happy in your relationship with your person you very much love your person but you have put yourself on the back burner long enough that you want to be able to start moving forward with your own life as well now the lovers card could also mean choice so this is choices that you need to make yeah, I feel that you need to, like with the four of cups here, I feel that the choice that you need to make is stay here and just do the daily grind to make everybody happy. Or is it going to be following your path? So I feel that you do need to have a heart to heart conversation with your partner about the direction you want to go in your life. So you've got the four of swords here and the ten of swords. So there is strong, strong... Um, air energy here. So you've got the four of swords here, which is, as I said before, is about taking some time out, rest, recover, contemplate where you want to go in your life. The Ten of Swords is about you completing something. So this completion could be that you're, you're just fed up with the way life is and you want to change and you're just deciding that you're no longer going to live in this, in this um, Groundhog Day life anymore. You know, you, I feel that with the Ten of Swords, it's the end of a painful cycle so for some of you it could be a separation um that could be painful um if you know that deep down um i don't i don't really want to just like every reading just be all lovey-dovey and happy i'm just going to read the cards with the four swords you've got to i feel like you've got to contemplate whether or not you want to be with this person um or whether you want to follow your dreams because i don't feel that your person is supporting you in following your own destiny and following the things that you really want to do um, and I feel there's an end of a painful cycle coming come in here. So this could be the end of a relationship. It could be the end of a job. It could be the end of anything that's resonating with you. But there is an ending coming. And you. this is why you have to take some time out to contemplate whether you want this ending to happen now or whether you want it to drag on. Now you've got the Two of Swords with the King of Cups. So like I said before, the Two of Swords is for you to take the blindfold off and to face reality. And make decisions with your eyes wide open rather than your eyes shut. The King of Cups here is also saying you need to get your emotions in balance. So the King of Cups is very emotionally balanced. He knows when to bring his emotions in and he knows when to hold them back. Um, I don't feel like he's played for a fool at any point when it comes to his emotions. He knows when he needs to use his logic and he knows when he needs to follow his heart. And I feel this is what, what you need to do. Um, Virgo is to actually decide whether you want to follow what you should be doing or whether you want to follow your heart. So let's get a lover's oracle card for you and see what the cards have to say. 
have a message for Virgo. Okay, thank you. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. I feel that if some of you are in a separation right now, then it's just about accepting things. You have to, you either have to accept things the way they are or you can change them. Um, it's like trying to change your partner's mind to support you. It's just, you know, it might not work. It's just sometimes you just have to accept the fact that they're not going to support you. But then do you choose to follow them or do you choose to follow your own path? On the bottom of the deck, we have deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. That I feel the angels are telling you here to follow your heart, even if it doesn't feel nice to start with. Following your heart here is the most important thing for you. Okay, let's get an angel answer oracle card. So think of a question you'd like to ask your angels and we'll pull a card for you. Um, if you like the reading today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. It will really help grow the channel and reach more people that may need to see this reading today. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me, then please do drop, um, please do have a look in the description box below. My link to my Etsy shop, RM Tarot, is where you can book a reading. I've also got a link down below for my TikTok, so if you are on TikTok at all, please do go and give me a follow over there. And if anything is resonating with you today, then do drop a comment in the comment box below. So, Angel Spirit, guys, what's the answer to Virgo's question, please? What's the answer to Virgo's question, please? Abundance. Abundance is coming to you. It's all going to be yours. Whatever your uh, your question is, is going to lead you to abundance. And on the bottom of the deck, we also have no. So if there's a question there, the answer is no. But there's no exclamation point on that one. I always look at it. There's a no with exclamation and no with no exclamation. And also this I saw that is success. And then we had remain positive so I feel that you need to remain positive because it's leading you to success and abundance and even though it's a no right now it doesn't mean it's a no for good that's all I've got for you today my lovely Virgo thank you for spending that time with me don't forget to like and subscribe I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one bye guys